Hey guys, feel free to check out my Patreon. I've gotten a few patrons in the past few days, so I would like to have a few more. It would be nice to have you guys join in. Um, I would like to say that the pa Patreon is not a permanent thing. You can actually subscribe to it monthly and either change your your tier or just cancel it. So please join it and enjoy this video. So for this video I'm going to discuss how art has a conflict in our society. Um, so the relationship between art and society would be that art influences society by changing the opinions, obviously, of people. And whenever I say art, I mean both music and physical art, like drawing and stuff like that. Paintings, anything. Music as well. I mean, well not music, I mean um, food, anything like that. So the other thing is that it instills values and trans translates experiences across space and time, obviously, because we keep nice art from like the past ages including like Leonardo DiCaprio and all of them that we all know and love today. The things that they've made we look at and we can actually kind of like the most popular art of sometimes certain time periods are what are popular for a reason. It, we can look at them and actually know that they came from that specific time period. A lot of the Renaissance paintings all look the same. All of the medieval paintings look the same, that type of stuff. Um, so... And the other thing is that I've noticed that p people in society become a lot more drawn to certain types of art depending on their personality. So like... And it's kind of fun to look at that like the people, person that you might think is like, oh, death and goth and stuff like that. No, sometimes they actually like the cute fluffy stuff as well. It just shows a different side to people. And... If you look at art in a museum, a lot of art can be looked at as a way of keeping them like kind of like a photo log almost pottery sculptures things like that can be used as a way to explain someone's life at the time P like wall paintings that we would look at or paintings on sculptures and stuff like that on pottery from back in the day that type of stuff is really neat to look at because it's like they're telling us a story with that while we write things much more now, we used to just use pictures. Um, I would also like to say that I feel like art has definitely come a long way from when it first began. I mean, not like, not like when it began back in like the medieval times or anything like that. I'm talking about like most recently, only a hundred years ago or so, whenever like. Um, probably like the 1900s, 1800s ish, when like the Mona Lisa and stuff were made. I feel like it's come a long way, honestly. The things that we have made back then are so popular nowadays, it's kind of interesting that they weren't popular back when they first were made. Like, what changes them to become a thing? over time? What makes them special to people after the painter or whatever dies? Like, what is it? It's something that's always intrigued me. Why is it that artists don't get to be in the spotlight when they're alive unless they're creating music or diamond rings and stuff like that? I don't know if anyone else has ever really noticed that, but it's something that's always been on my mind. Things have changed in the past years, obviously, but for newer people trying to get into the art career and stuff, it's kind of hard to become known. Unless you're creating something that is easily accessible. Things that you see in museums and stuff, they're specifically chosen 
by the administration and staff at the museum. It's specific to the museum. So it's hard to get in there. It's hard to get known. And it's just kind of sad that the people that work really hard on what they're doing can't just join, basically. Just because someone's really good at something, if the museum isn't looking for your work, then they're not going to buy it or even showcase it at all. So it kind of sucks. Um, but I feel like as time goes on, society is obviously going to keep changing and our tastes in art will continue to change. Everyone is different and everyone is going to like different things. Me personally, I don't like modern art. I think that it's trash. <laughs> like, that's just my personal opinion. And I've never really cared about it. I never liked um, abstract art either. But a lot of people do. Personally, it's just how I am. So, to try to wrap this up a little bit, I'm going to say that like what you want to, but keep it... Keep it, like, to a minimum, if that makes sense. Or you could just like everything and not care. Make sure that you have an open mind when it comes to art, and know that everyone is out there trying to be their best. It's just, it's hard to get noticed anymore, and that's how life is. So, please like, share, and subscribe, comment below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!